Costa, Dean at Robert Kennedy College, who joins us now live from Zurich. David, um, it's difficult not to focus on the Japanese story right now because that's uh, exactly what the markets are focused on. Kind of with that in mind, I suppose, do you think that we're still going to see rate rises in Europe? Because that's something that many in the periphery, such as Portugal, as I was mentioning there, are probably quite fearful of. Yes, I mean, I think uh, what we have seen out of Europe is certainly positive. I have not been seen as enough by many critics, by Trichet, because some of the penalty, some of the austerity that will come through uh, will not, not be automatic, so we'll have to be debated again. So it's a bit early, but I think Europe is doing all the right things. Obviously, now Japan is the main story, and that is uh, impacting also the European market, which were already fragile before the tragedy. So I think at the moment it's pretty of a, of a status of uh, waiting and see, depending on what the news from Japan will be like. But in terms of Europe, I think many of the things which were supposed to be done as of now have been done. Well, indeed. I mean, but with, with the Japanese situation in mind, David, when do you think we'll start to see an uptick in oil prices? Because at the moment, we've seen oil prices retrenching as people think that in the short term there'll be less demand, of course, from coming through from Japan. But in the medium term, many people are talking about how decommissioning nuclear facilities is only going to push oil prices higher. Is that something that's going to weigh on Europe as we move forward? I do think that uh, oil prices will go higher from here. What we have seen on the last two days was, uh, in many cases, a forced selling, a forced liquidation due to margins, and on the long run, uh, the situation in the Middle East didn't improve yet enough uh, to, to give such a pushback to oil. And as we have seen, even in Germany, the closure of these uh, uh, centers, nuclear centers just uh, announced by Angela Merkel, has already impacted the price of energy, uh, electricity in Germany, which has been up uh, considerably yesterday. So oil is set to be higher I would say even by the summer hey David this is Christine a lot of investors are worried about supply disruptions coming from many Japanese companies which are crucial in the supply chain when it comes to things like technology semiconductors and maybe the automobile sector as well what are the global implications coming from the Japanese situation Well, in terms of semiconductor, that's certainly a good, uh, a, a, an important uh, implication because one fifth of uh, the semiconductors come from Japan, even from some of the popular uh, new electronic items. But that said, the reaction I've seen on the last two days looks to me as a bit of an overreaction because we don't have enough information yet to make such a judgment. And uh, if there is a supply vacuum, there will be some other countries, some of the suppliers stepping in. So yes, it is a concern, but perhaps not yet to the degree that the market is pricing in so that's that's my view at the moment David do you see any impact on US Treasuries because a lot of talk that maybe at some stage Japan might have to sell its US Treasury holdings to help pay for all that massive reconstruction that would be going on after the earthquake It's difficult to say, but it's a possibility. I see on the uh, U.S. Treasury uh, in the short term, we have seen really a flight to, to, to have them, a flight to security. But uh, given that the, Q, uh, the QE2 will, will, will stop in the summer, there will be a vacuum there. And even without the Japan situation, which, however, can exacerbate this situation, I would see Treasury as something uh, pretty difficult at the moment. I see, uh, uh, you know, by contradiction, more opportunities in equities, even in Europe, because of this over. Reaction. That said, much depends on what is going to happen in Japan. If the situation is worsening, obviously we'll have an even deeper correction. But if it's stabilizing, as it seems to be on, uh, on today from the news we are receiving, then I really see this as an opportunity. David, great to hear from you today. Thank you for joining us, David Costa, Dean at the Robert Kennedy College in Zurich. Well, let's have